Hey guys, this is my Gardener and we are outside today. It is beautiful weather and it is the day before Easter, but I'm going to wish you guys a happy Easter anyways. Hopefully you guys have a safe trip wherever you guys are traveling. If you guys are traveling, if not, have a very, very happy Easter. If you guys don't celebrate Easter, happy spring. Um, <laughs> but uh, regardless, just enjoy the day no matter what. Um, first off, I'm going to say that I'm going to be doing something really fun in this episode. I have two eggs, one light lime green and one hot pink egg. So what I'm going to do with these eggs is throughout this entire episode, I'm going to have them hidden in different parts of the video. And I'm not going to tell you how many eggs I have hidden, but I'll know and you won't. So it'll give you a challenge to look for each and every egg. Now, if you don't find every single egg, that is fine. But what I want you to do is, sorry, I had to wait for the wind to stop. If it gets windy, uh, forgive me. I hope it comes out okay. I never know until I'm editing the video. But anyways, what I want you to do is not in the comments box below, but send me an email so that people don't copy your answer. Send me an email with the amount that you saw and the times that you saw them. So for instance, if I have one at two minutes in the video, um, you can say, I saw, one, I saw one egg at two minutes. Sometimes there might be both, sometimes there might not be any, sometimes there might be one or the other. You never know, so keep your eyes peeled and it's gonna be really, really fun. And the winner is the person that gets the most eggs. Now, if they're in a case that there's a tie, I'm going to draw the names out of a hat and I will announce the winner in the next episode. So it's gonna be really, really fun, and it's just gonna kinda of be a, kind of a fun, festive game that we can play. And the winner is going to get some seeds sent to their house free of charge, nothing included. Just me giving you guys a fun little gift for the gift of spring, because I am so happy. Um, by the way, I did get my greenhouse up. I was gonna bring you guys along, but then I decided, I already did a video on that, so I didn't wanna, you know, I just wanted to get it up. Uh, but anyways, so let's get started with the video. I'm going to be transplanting the stuff that I have behind me, my cool other crops, and they're going to go hop in the greenhouse. So let's get started. All right, so first I thought I'd go over my mix here. This is going to be my transplant mix. I have my trifecta here. I got a big bucket of it. And then I have my uh, compost here. This is my composted cow manure. And this is just to add a little bit of kind of looseness to it. Then I have an organic choice garden mix here, and this is made by miracle Grow, but it is organic, and it has lots of uh, loose kind of soil, got a lot of fluff. And then I have over here, I have two bags of the 2.2 cubic feet of uh, Lambert peat moss. And I really like this company, Lambert. They have a really good quality product. This is the first year I've used this composted cow manure uh, of this brand, so I'll let you know how it does. Um, but I have two bags of that and two bags of this. So basically what I'm gonna do is mix one bag of the composted cow manure to one bag of the, uh, to the organic choice garden soil to one bag of the peat moss, and then I'm gonna add a couple scoops of my trifecta into the mix as well. All right, so this is a fabulous, fabulous mix here. I only ended up using about half the bag of sphagnum peat moss because this stuff, this stuff is just amazing. It's so loose and so fluffy. It just, I mean, it just, there's, there is just no reason to hate this stuff. I mean, you can't even make a ball with it. It's just, oh, it's great. And it's gonna work so well. I already mixed in my trifecta. I already mixed in all of the composted uh, cow manure and there's just some like sticky stuff that sometimes you have to throw out there but I mean as long as you mix it up pretty well most of it comes to the surface and you can either crumple it or toss it and I really haven't found that much that needs to be tossed most of it is just little clumps sometimes you get small sticks like this toss those out but all right we're ready to plant so I basically just filled up the trays here these are the four cells not the six cells and it's because we already had them already salvaged and we didn't ever throw them out so I'm just reusing these. And what I have here is the 512 cell packets here. I've simply sprayed them down really really well with water so that they're um, 
they're really, really soaked, so they come out easily. And what I have here is just a uh, screwdriver that has a flattened end. It was already a ruined screwdriver, so I just took a hammer and pounded down the end so it didn't separate the cell, it just kind of pushes it out. And then what I do here is I just come along here underneath, I just pop it out, and then, as you see there, you have a perfect little cell. Then you just take it and you pop it right in the hole there. And let's do another one here. As you can see, they come out perfect every single time. Not too root bound or anything. You just pop them in the hole. You just backfill with a little bit of soil. I'm gonna get these all planted up and then we'll show you what it looks like. We're gonna have a lot of plants here, so it's gonna take a while. All right, so I'm actually going to just briefly go over what we did. Uh, my mom helped me out, so many thanks to her. I probably would not have been able to do it in the time that I did, but uh, it was getting really, really cold and the sun was going down, so I wanted to finish. So I actually just got the red, the red salad bowl lettuce and the uh, fire red, romaine something red salad bowl that's what it is um <laughs> but uh we got four and a half flats of the romaine lettuce and then we actually got uh one whole one of the red salad bowl and then we weren't able to fill a flat yet but those two are a red salad bowl as well and then those empty ones are going to be arugula but we couldn't plant the arugula because it wasn't mature enough yet I thought I'd just briefly show you guys the uh, greenhouse here. I'm just at the outside door. And, ah, crawl in here. But, um, yeah, so it's pretty spacious. But this is where the lettuce is going to go. I'm going to actually put the lettuce right along this border here. And by the time I move my tomatoes and peppers in here, they'll be out growing in the, in the ground anyways. I did kind of set up a small planting station right here just in case it got really cold, but I actually didn't need it, but I'll still keep it there just because it looks kind of cool, I guess. And plus, when I move my tomatoes and peppers in here, I'll need every tomato, I'll need every table I can get. So coming out here, I'm actually going to fix up this garden bed here, get this amended, and get stuff kind of cleaned up. I got tags from last year, uh, I'm going to pull out the trellis that I had growing peas on here because I'm not going to do peas in this spot because they did really poorly last year. Uh, this is all going to be lettuce. And so I'm going to get all this put up and then I'm actually going to mix some sphagnum peat moss. The mix that I had my seedlings in, I'm going to mix a little bit in here as well to give it some looseness and give it some fertility as well. So I'm just uh, turning this over right now and I'm going to aerate it with the shovel and then I'm going to come through with some more of the, uh, the peat moss and the compost mix, kind of a meld mix or whatever. And I'm going to put that on top and mix that in as well. I'm merely just aerating the soil and getting all the clumps and weeds out as I go and making it neater and cleaner. And we're done. This bed looks great. As you can see, it's definitely much better than it was when it first began. And it looks like it, def it definitely can produce some really good nutrient-rich vegetables for my family. And I'm out of breath, yes I am. So if it sounds like I just ran a mile, it's probably because I just turned this whole garden over in probably about five minutes. So it's good exercise. So I'm actually finished and Zoe wanted to say bye. And as I was cleaning out the garden bed, I found, Zoe, <laughs> I found this clump of, I believe they're called morning stars, and they're actually one of the first flowers to bloom in the springtime, and they will flower for pretty much most of the springtime, and then they'll die back in the summer, and then they sprout obviously next spring, they're a bulb. So what I was going to do is, combined with the seeds I'll be sending people, I would actually bring uh, this to the table and offer this to you guys. They do spread very very rapidly so that's why I dug some of them out because I can't fit them all in my bed and obviously I want to make room for other different types of flowers as well so um, I dug up a clump and I'll be sending this to the winner as well they're very beautiful and I'm sorry Zoe you, you cannot get to those plants she loves 
digging in the dirt. She is such a digger. So um, I'm actually going to show you guys what they look like because I actually have some flowering in the other garden bed over there as well. So I will talk to you guys later. This is in my garden reminding you guys to grow big or go home. See ya. Bye. So this is actually the purple morning star. And as you guys can see, they're so, so beautiful. Very, very first flowers to open. And they are just so beautiful. And these aren't even opening yet, but when they do open, they are the most beautiful flowers. And these are always the first to flower. Some come in white, some come in purple. So I'm not sure which ones you're gonna get, but be assured that they're going to be beautiful and absolutely fantastic. I think the ones that I am sending are white because now that I'm seeing these, the purple ones have a tendency to have the uh, variegated leaves to them, and I don't see many variegated leaves. However, if I do find some, I might even put a mix in for you guys. So I will talk to you guys later.